snake, snake, solid snake, 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 solid snake, Donkey Kong. <sighs> What the fuck? Good. How did you get in here? Dude, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's coming, okay? I, I promise. Oh. It's showtime. No, please. Have mercy. Now. Persona. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Oh, I think that should be the last of him. So yeah, what's up guys? It's been a minute. Welcome back to the Ultimate Questions. Today I'm going to be answering questions that Nintendo don't answer. I want to die. Here we answer some of those juiciest Smash Bros questions that you guys have to offer. And some questions you never really asked. And you had never really wanted to know until it was answered. So without further ado, let's get into the first question. Can I create an invincible amiibo? Most of you guys know of Alpha Red's Hard DK. He was pretty hard to beat and did massive damage on hits. It was actually pretty insane. And he hits you with, uh... Who cares, man? Oh! Is this it? Oh my goodness. We can't use this. It's fucking absurd. <laughs> but it got me wondering, can I make an invincible DK? Not even a harder or hardest DK, I mean this amiibo has to be literally impossible to beat. At first I wondered whether I could even surpass the stats of an amiibo's limits. So I asked my good buddy the mod god, Vishera. He sent me a DK amiibo bin that had absurd stats, and he packed a wallop. Jesus Christ! But there was one problem. I wanted to make sure this amiibo could not be cheesed. Nairo even cheesed hard DK when he went against him. So I hit up a fellow amiibo expert, Choctopus, and asked him what spirits I should feed the amiibo to make him unbeatable. He gave me a list of spirits that were OP, and some with no drawbacks. But one spirit in particular caught my eye, and it was one that constantly came up in the research for OP spirits, and that was the Golden Mario. This spirit has no drawbacks. It straight up gives your amiibo super armor. That means he basically wouldn't flinch at all. In order to get this spirit, however, I needed to grind for three spirits specifically. And to get the currency to purchase spirits, and to refresh, as well as look for other spirits that may improve the DK amiibo, I once again had to finish World of Light. To show you guys a summary of how that went, here's a quick montage made by the great King of Skill. Hey, Mr. Cole! Does that have they did get him? Do it again. Holy fish paste! Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
me. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Shoutouts once again to King of Skill for that amazing montage. You guys should definitely check him out if you liked that. Alright, so I have World of Light finished. Can I get the spirit? What? I still don't have it? So in order to get this golden Mario spirit, it was straight RNG. I had to rely on my luck and hope that the spirit board that refreshed showed a metal Mario that I could synthesize into a golden Mario. I tried for weeks. It never happened. At some point, I just gave up and asked Vish again, wondering if he could somehow inject the Golden Mario spirit into the amiibo, since he could edit the stats anyway. Well, turns out he could, so basically I played World of Light for nothing. <laughs> but is this amiibo invincible? Well... Yeah, you can't even cheese this guy with Byleth. He's legit unbeatable, and does an unreal amount of damage per hit. I can safely say that this amiibo is truly invincible. There was a point in time where I tried to go online with the hard DK amiibo for the tournament that they had. And this is what happened. Quite unfortunate. Who can bomb recover for the longest time? So in this game, some characters can stall their recovery with explosives. Many characters can do this, but some longer than others. The question is, which characters can do it for the longest time without dying or landing? There are a few restrictions that I added for the sake of time and also for the sake of consistency. Every character that can recover will start with 100%. They cannot tech or wall jump, and once they die, the timer stops. The timer starts the second they go past the ledge. Both Toon Link and Young Link just can't survive long enough from the bomb, Young Link's fastfall being too high and Toon Link's bomb taking too long to explode. Link's is actually the most interesting, I did a bunch of attempts. There are so many ways Link's can go and I definitely didn't show a perfect attempt. It's all dependent on DI, timing, and location. I'm 100% sure anyone can get a significantly better time in this Link one, but I'm not sure if it'll make that much of a difference, but if it can, you guys can prove me wrong. I actually expected Banjo to last the longest because his knockback is significantly less than Snake's explosives. However, with that lack of hop from the down B after the first down B, he just can't get high enough, so he just ends up dying. So yeah, Snake can stall the longest. Honestly, I didn't expect this mostly because he has such large knockback on his bombs, but the other characters just can't survive. He can probably survive even longer than what I showed because these attempts aren't perfect, but I doubt that it would make that much of a difference. The final question, who is GR Trash? GR Trash is a YouTuber who made creative compilations of Smash Wii U tournaments. His channel was kind of a spin-off of GR Smash, a YouTuber who makes melee compilations. While they both have celebrities as their profile pictures, GR Smash's identity is known from tournament footage. However, nobody knows who GR Trash is, so I researched for days, weeks, even months. I asked my fellow YouTubers, and while some of them thought they knew, they ended up wrong. Most people speculated it was Quan, 
a member of 2GG, the tournament organizers. However, I've been to Disneyland with the guy and he, and he revealed to me that he is not. Some people speculated that it was someone from Australia. If it had to be anybody from there, then little Z must know, because he's from Australia, so I messaged him as well. But unfortunately, he said he didn't know either, and said that it is impossible that GR Trash could be there and he not know about it. But for some reason, after that message, little Z never responded about that topic again. At this point, I was about to give up. Then I got a strange message from someone who claimed to know who he is. He had no followers or anything. But I was grasping at straws, so I responded. A strange reply later, he gave me the answer, and everything made sense. So now, it's time to answer the burning question inside you guys' minds. Who is GR Trash? Well, after some research, I figured it out. His name is... Huh. Who could that be? Ladies and gentlemen, we got him.